so to make them uh, to um, uh, to understand the mathematics these are the press clippings so aptas conducted online training by using mathematic models on 14th 15th uh, july 2021 to enhance the knowledge of mathematics teachers resource person is uh, shri paniraj mohan he is a very talented person and is very systematically he, he demonstrated and uh, science campaign we have taken it as a very um, uh, science campaign uh, like a practical training on science uh, uh, using science kit so the following resource person lakshman shuri garu masudan rao garu so um, they involved and they, they demonstrated few science concepts and these are the some of the press clippings and photographs and celebration of days so all the celebration of days we have taken very seriously and the spirit of the day was successfully celebrated and awareness sometimes awareness created and sometimes we have implemented that day celebration the state event has been organized in rsc 562021 science city of andhra pradesh also associated for this even this year plantation was done and plants were also saplings were also distributed to the students and um, the both has been administered for the school students and um, and for departments also the saplings was uh, um, distributed and the plantation was done in ap cas premises we have beautiful premises of 5 acres land attached to our ap cas so we tried the greenery and plantation was excellently done in um, our campus so in another activity online quiz has been organized by regional science center tirupati with the coordination of dc chittur ap cast so students have been participated through online and uh, one uh, seminar was also um, arranged uh, from uh, pollution control expert from pollution control board and um, and we enlightened the students the importance of environment day and this is the pledge copy which was which we were administered and celebration of international yoga day so health is following the health is wealth so we um, we systematically uh, conducted yoga day celebrations in point of view of corona second wave also the yoga day has a lot of prominence uh, that time and uh, dr r nangara uh, ranganath yoga trainer he, he demonstrated uh, uh, through online and we kept the, uh, the screens big screens Uh, for the students and they successfully uh, observed and they were able to do some uh, asanas also so this is the uh, on the occasion of this uh, we released a yoga guide book mentioning uh, what is the systematic procedure for doing yoga so uh, the guide book also distributed to uh, most of the students so this is the guide book so what is the asana and what is the use of uh, that uh, asana uh so uh, dhyana and all those we distributed you know, this is the yoga guide book and these are some of the photos uh, some asanas was excellently was done by our uh, uh, the, the students who ever attended that day next hiroshima nagasaki day the main aim of organizing this day is to create awareness especially to students and to explain adverse effects of nuclear weapons we created awareness and uh, competition we held competitions like essay writing quiz uh, through online mode and awareness program was also conducted shrimati t kalpala the honorable mlc has participated as chief guest and addressed the gathering these are some of the photos and uh, next world ozone day so it's a very very important nowadays uh, to know about the importance of world uh, ozone day the awareness program was conducted and um, the uh, our um, today speaker Uh, one of the speaker r is uh, balaji garu uh, so project coordinator and uh, they enlightened the students about uh, this activity and they created um, awareness among the students so this year due to covid pandemic situation poster presentation competition was conducted through online certificate and cash awards were given to winners so this is the webinar uh, was conducted by balaji garu and these are the maximum we got from uh, Uh, Vishakhapatnam, uh, 757 uh, people were participated, and uh, National Engineers Day. This day, we so actually we are giving more importance to science, even though we are uh, we uh, AB Council of Science and Technology. Technology side, we are uh, lagging little bit because of that. Uh, so we observed and we try to compensate somehow balance between science and technology. Both are interrelated with each other. 
there is no science, there is no technology. When there is no technology, there is uh, uh, no um, uh, new methods from science. And that way, we give an equal importance to Engineers Day also. On the occasion of Engineers Day, so uh, organized workshop on the emerging technology for students. The following two speakers have delivered their lectures. Jian Nikhil from DR, um, VR Ambedkar, uh, NIT, Jalandar Punjab, uh, Kaushab Mohanty, Department of Chemical Engineer, um, IIT Gohuti, they have, um, they discussed the latest technologies um, available and uh, very, very impressive lectures they have delivered. So this is the one is the uh, other one, prestigious program of uh, because the sub-regional science center, which are um, which is going to construct uh, already in, under construction, which is located in Rajamandri, East Godavari, and it's a joint project of GOA and government of EAP. It is almost coming to um, uh, coming to an end. The construction is coming to an end. The small small problems were there because of COVID and local problems, but we are able to solve all the problems and now it is ready for the inauguration. I'm happy to share this um, news with all of you. Next, um, we, we have conducted a number of webinars and uh, to update the knowledge of uh, students, sometimes we conducted for the students and sometimes uh, we have conducted for teachers too. So um, these are the list of webinars we have conducted. So even the COVID pandemic situation, we, have, we, we haven't kept quiet. Try to enlighten the students or teachers with some or other programs, with um, the proper programs, and we, uh, we guided them. So these are the pro uh, list of uh, uh, webinars we have conducted. Starting from environment to rainwater harvesting and Internet of Things, mobile technology, we haven't left anything. Almost we have conducted uh, 18 webinars from last one year. So it's some of the photos of webinars conducted during 21-22. So next, uh, encouraging higher education teachers. So um, the meritocia teachers, we, um, we, we formulate an application for uh, research, uh, for the research and uh, teaching skills. And we awarded, 23 awardees were got selected in APSA 2020 from various institutions and various science and technology fields. The Honorable Minister, uh, Sri Balnin and Srinivas Ritigaru actively participated in awards function. So uh, these are the 23 uh, scientist awardees uh, in Andhra Pradesh from, var uh, from various faculties. So this is the group photo about uh, 23 participants and our minister, we are visiting the minister on this occasion. So due to lack of technical knowledge, APA cast has also conducted the following uh, special programs. Because uh, already I told you that uh, we focused before we focused more on uh, science, not on um, technological skills. Now we want to give equal importance to technology also. So that is why coding skills with computers, without computers, for government school students con uh, conducted. It was um, teachers also conducted and students also we have conducted two times. So each time. Uh, um, almost uh, more than uh, 130 members uh, uh, got uh, the training from this program. So next, uh, MO is for special training. So we entered into MOSU with uh, various uh, institutes uh, to uh, get the, for uh, special training and Makathan uh, in collaboration with Jain to Anantapur. So Avishkar with BBM. So and this is the coding skills which we have conducted. Uh, 23rd June 2021, Commissioner School um, Education, Chenavera Badradu participated and he appreciated very well our um, program. So these are the few um, uh, visuals and um, nearly 400 teachers have been trained. So first phase uh, uh, 24th to 27th, second phase 28th to 29th. So uh, total five days uh, training program, it was conducted, it's a huge success. And all the teachers are uh, very enlightened by this uh, program. Uh, these are the press clippings. Uh, and these are the envoys with reputed institutes. We uh, entered uh, envoys with CREA learning for the STEM training. And uh, this is the, um, the main uh, to, uh, to in uh, uh, actually the national education policy to cope up with education policy. This type of learning is very much needed. So that is why we thought that uh, 
the stem trainings are very much needed and we entered into kraya um, uh, kraya people and they are um, they started already uh, uh, started their uh, uh, program so science and technology and development and application of problems solving and creative thinking now we no need to go for these coding skills all those outside the our kraya learning and research private limited will be a pioneer and leader in the space of stem design coding and 21st century skills will explore and promote stem design and coding programs for the students of government school to develop 21st century skills and uh, qas college is one of the best college so they have very good labs in our, um, uh, uh, robotic um, robotic labs so and um, so we have visited and 3d printing and uh, special training on robotics we entered uh, in the moe with uh, qis college prakasham district so we are also planning joint research programs and exchange academic information joint conferences just funding proposals to different agencies so this is a net cap training on energy sector day by day the energy uh, the solar energy is getting more and more popular we thought that uh, better to conduct training programs in uh, energy sector so we entered uh, uh, entered mou with netcap and uh, they we are actively involving and we are planning for energy sector trainings so mackathon for engineering students mackathon main aim is to bring student ideas into realities so we uh, uh, we sponsored and collaborated with uh, um, uh, dr g mamata jain to anantapuram on 210201 and people actively participated and a few of them exhibited excellent uh, exhibits and we are very very, uh, very we are very much happy with their participation and their achievements so and these are the few photographs of uh, this one e this year also we have uh, um, uh, uh, avishkar program it is like techno fest and uh, we are connecting with the uh, with the collaboration with uh, bbm uh, bharati vigyan mandali so which uh, who is our collaborator in kaushal so now uh, we plan on uh, 25th of february preliminary screening was over and we got these many uh, entries number of registrations and the um, march 4th we have final screening for this so next distribution of medicated saplings and uh, andhra pradesh state uh, biodiversity board we are actively involved in that uh, participated and a program officer attended and um, and he delivered a lecture also so press clippings uh, for this biodiversity and a future without plastic it's a prestigious government uh, program yes sir we have conducted an essay writing a future without plastic based through sustainability and circularity and we distributed prizes so to create awareness about the plastic and uh, um, possible uh, alternatives for the plastics so and these are the only guntur was not participated these are the total number of uh, participants list uh, from all the state all the uh, all the districts in andhra pradesh so krishna um, uh, mr yoga venkat he got first prize um, and these are the details about uh, uh, those details and photos and press clippings are a future without plastic and these are the things next we are actively involved uh, in conducting conferences and workshops so one day national seminar on ayurveda for health and wellness we have conducted and with the help of layala college this is type with layala college two day national conference on advances in agriculture and rural development and environment sciences mushroom cultivations and traditional training or organic farming so these are the press clippings i too attended that program and a lot of participants attended and they enlightened with why ayurveda is important and they understood the importance of ayurveda so next to today ka national conference on advances in agriculture and rural development and environment sciences so andhra pradesh you know about that it's a agriculture based based state so the importance of agriculture and some new methods of cultivation all those were demonstrated in the, that conferences next mushroom cultivation three days training and program on mushroom cultivation actually in collaboration with tanishri mushrooms vijayawada ap cast has sponsored a three day regional workshop it a, a total of 250 members from krishna district participated in this workshop and uh, shivakumari and jay chandra acted as resource persons they explained the importance procedures sterilization 
harvesting and marketing of mushrooms. All the officials of the management and faculty members participated and this program is a huge success. And traditional training on organic farming. You know about the nowadays the pesticides are doing a lot of um, harm to the people. So to have more uh, knowledge about uh, this uh, traditional training like organic farming. So, uh, so in collaboration with uh, we have conducted in Chittu district. So to keep the soil fertility alive, to empower the students on natural farming methods and the natural food, to provide the basic communities for production of natural manures, bio pesticides, seeds, uh, seed, um, all those. So these are the some of the students involved in this program. And uh, next uh, training for tribal students, Eco Eureka project, uh, it is bring out the uh, improvement in the quality of life in tribal areas. So which accelerates Swachh Bharat Mission, sanitary coverage, awareness campaign, and cleanliness at school, Anganwadi centers. This was successfully conducted. And this is the um, few photos of this program and press clippings. And we are encouraging innovative ideas uh, also. So this is the exhibit about the Zero sh Shadow Day. And um, uh, some uh, uh, Sri N. Subramanyam was awarded as Andhra Pradesh Scientist Award, Teacher Scientist category for his services, contributions towards to the technology development. He created, he is creating a lot of um, scientific curiosity among the students. So that is why uh, we are, uh, we awarded him with uh, uh, some prize. And anti-COVID-19 product by using AI, IOT and ML. So this is the, some photographs of uh, the technology developed and vertical farming. Uh, so this is the vertical farming using IT, hydroponics, and um, yeah, this is the success, huge success. And uh, we are able to conduct Ajadika Amrita Vachav. This is the sixth Ajadika we are uh, actively involved. We not even missed a single month um, also. So uh, every concept we are celebrating and we are popularizing science and technology in this way also. So. Uh, next awareness program, so we have conducted brochure prepared and distributed and um, in the time of COVID second uh, wave, you know how disastrous it is and uh, we, um, the brochure was distributed to so many people here and we created awareness and um, we have conducted coping with COVID-19 the way forward. So uh, Dr. Alladi Mohan is uh, very famous, uh, like he is a dean in uh, swims in Tirupati. So he interacted with people and they, they, he, he clarified so many doubts. That way we helped and Dr. Manjula Kola, Associate Professor and Head and Food Science uh, regarding nutrition is also very important, that point of time. So what should the, uh, the after recovering, what the foods they can take, that type of uh, interaction also we created with the help of Dr. Manjula Kola. And uh, all these programs are huge success. And uh, of course, uh, we involved in charity activities also. And uh, we have given food packets, sanitizers, face masks, uh, distribution of foods. And uh, two or three times we distributed food. And sometimes we distributed buttermilk and water packets also. So next, we are planning to con uh, our future focus is on to, to conduct techno phase for engineering students more vigorously to encourage women-centric programs for the women who got break in their career. Sponsorship fellowships to encourage research scholars, biotechnology training in collaboration with the AMTJ at Vishakapatnam, um, technician training on solar panel maintenance, artisan trainings using proper technology. All these we are going to concentrate uh, this year, next to financial year we are going to concentrate uh, on these programs. Thank you very much for your attention and um, Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much uh, for your uh, uh, long presentation on FCAST activities. You have elaborated all the activities we have conducted so far the last one year. Uh, now I request Sri uh, K. Balaram, Regional Manager, Asia International Foundation uh, for Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. He has 20 years experience in Agastya International Foundation. He won the 2020 Science Seva Rana Awards in his career. 
it is directly connected with more than 55,000 5 lakh students for spark university in students community so with this uh, information i now request uh, uh, sri k baram garu to give a presentation on science activities what they have done in uh, people of andhra pradesh and telangana over to you uh, baram garu please hello thank you sir thank you very much am i audible hello yes sir yes so it is visible no screen is sharing yeah, yeah. it is visible and audible also thank you so much sir uh, very good afternoon one and all i am feeling this is a privilege to me to be here on the occasion of azadi ka amrit mahotsav the ap state council of science and technology and department of science and technology government of india will iddaru kuda samyuktanga nirvahisthunnatuvanti ee karyakramaniki nenu agastya international foundation nundi represent chestunnanu mukhyanga mana telugu rashtralalo nundi nenu chusukuntunnanu operations so ee slides lo manaku if you have any any doubts please note down and ask me or in between also you can just raise your hand and ask me okay agastya yokka ముఖ్య ఉద్దేశాలు ఏమున్నాయి ఏంటి అనేటువంటి నేను ఒక్కొక్క స్లైడ్ గా తీసుకుని వెళ్తూ ఉంటాను ఇక్కడ మెయిన్ ఏంటంటే మనకు సో స్పార్కింగ్ క్యూరియాసిటీ నచ్చరింగ్ క్రియేటివిటీ త్రూ హ్యాండ్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ ఆర్ట్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ వాట్ అగస్త్య యూజ్ డూయింగ్ అగస్త్య మంత్ర ఈజ్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ దట్ అండ్ హాహా మూమెంట్ ఈస్ వెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ ది కాన్ఫిడెంట్ ఆన్ ఇట్ అండ్ ఇంప్లిమెంటింగ్ so entire organizational the implementation will be ah 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 this is agastya mantra when it is coming to the uh, the statistic each year we are reaching nearly 15 million children and 2000 uh, 2 lakhs uh, 50000 teachers mainly agastya vision is a world class creator innovator solution seekers and change makers who are human anchored and connected the thing is in the education field normally children will read or everybody everyone knows children will read they will write the examination and pass we require our nation require the creators and innovators and solution seekers normally people will say that is the problem that is the problem every if everyone is saying problems who is going to give the solutions we have to create ourselves our the gener- student have to think like that so we require the solution seekers then the mission is spark curiosity nurture creativity and instill confidence earlier the slide i said no spark curiosity aha moment and nurture creativity aha and instill confidence in children economically disadvantaged children so mainly we are focusing experimental hands on learning and art education for this we have the science centers mobile lab lab and your bikes lab in your box teacher trainings all these things here in the experiential hands on learning peer to peer for the peer to peer learning we are conducting the science fairs the district level mandala sorry mandal level district level state level and national level also and not only the science fairs even in the quiz programs quiz programs or the earlier we are doing face to face in the pandemic situation we done the virtual even i think last uh, last month also sir also participated in it, uh, the jignasa not only we are not limiting into only up to school students one more the science competition what we are trying to do is anveshna called anveshna the anveshna program is bridging the bit bridging the making the bridge between the engineering students and high school students engineering students they will use their technology the knowledge and the government school students 
they will come up with ideas they both will work together and present the uh, exhibit the you know whatever the innovations they done and in the peer teaching children will learn much better than adults say again teacher education is there sustainable sustainable uh, sorry scalable learning methods and deep caring of environment wherever agastya is there it can be classroom or the science fair area or the campus wherever we are caring about the environment we are not using much plastics or the hygiene part and whatever is available in the environment only we are using and the total methodology for the children especially for the children and uh, it will be fun and useful and accessible and uh, next slide i am coming to that agastya <coughs> hello agastya values sir am i audible okay i hope i am audible uh, agastya values we, we are focusing is creativity and innovation quality commitment teamwork caring this is agastya values we are following agastya vision as i said earlier again a spark curiosity creativity instill confidence so here i think you may need to observe at least 30 seconds this slide 30 seconds you can observe this slide see agastya is are not blaming anyone or we are trying to reach more children with the good good methodology i think you can understand this pyramid actually agastya is focusing on 50% of what we see and hear 70% of what we discussed and others 80% what we experience 95% of what we teach when we are teaching only we are going to get more so agastya is focusing is here here and agastya employs key behavioral shift is normally in the classrooms whatever teacher is asking children will say yes but here we will encourage they have to ask why why this is happening for the small example we can take whatever we can say ribbon or any anything we can see normally why red is in red color means children will tell it is having the hemoglobin that's why it is red suppose a pen is there is it having hemoglobin people will say no then why it is red so, see like that they have to ask the questions they have to ask they have to think like that looking to observe you know looking to observe so i know to explain about it passion is to exploring textbook bound to answer and fear to confidence this is influence key behavioral shift finally they will get the leadership so agastya mission aligns with 21st century skills like uh, see here especially the violet and orange only we are focusing the scientific literacy ict literacy and cultural and civic literacy this is the creativity communication collaboration and the curiosity again the in, in, initiatives leadership social and cultural awareness this thing we are uh, focusing 21st century skills and uh, normally when we started agastya international foundation we are focusing only on hands on i mean the experiments now covid teaches so many things if schools are not there again we are in 21st century how we have to reach more children we have to use the technology also so like that even last uh, last month and last before month december and january we did end the phase so one area people are I mean people means here the children are explaining their exhibits and nearly 8000 children from the other schools because we utilizing the materials whatever is in the school the projectors sorry projectors and the cell phones laptops all these things we are utilizing we are reaching more children and nowadays we are providing the laptops or the tabs to the children and they have and lo loaded with uh, loaded material activity and they are doing so digitally also we are involving in the classrooms so i think agastya timeline is here 
So it was started in 1994. Actually, this is the plan, first concept. Now this is 2022. So to reach this many children, of course, Agastya is working in 21 states in our nation. To reach this stage, nearly 22 years it required. But when, like you people are here and collaborating with you and doing such kind of things, definitely we can reach more children. Actually, my senior people, they said in the India, we are reaching very least percentage of children. It can be million or two million, that is different. Mm -hmm. But very least percentage of children we are do, reaching, we have to try to reach more children. Only Agastya cannot reach all the children at a time. Because if it is purely non-profit organization, it requires some help. Of course, yes, our funds and then some of the areas government is supporting, definitely we can reach for the, with the strategy the pedagogy. See here, I can show the Agastya's reach. Reached 15 million children, 2 lakhs 50, sorry, 2 lakh 50 thousand teachers in 21st, 21 states. You can see here, hands on science teacher training, young instructor leader. Young instructor leader means here, the, the student itself is a leader. Whoever is there in the classroom, we are giving more training to the student and he is teaching to the other children and he is taking the leadership. So that is called young instructor leader. Make your own lab. We will give the materials to the It can be children or the teachers. They have to create, they have to create their own lab. Science innovation phase, earlier I said, no? like innovation phase we are doing. Ekaji, we are right now, we are concentrating only the campus. We have the campus in the Chikmu district. There only we are concentrating on the ecology. The visual and uh, performing arts also in the day. Design thinking, digital learning, gifted learning, sorry, gifted children program is there. I think you may be uh, doing this, I don't know. Everywhere it can be city or, or, or rural, wherever, children, some children will be there like gifted. They are very good in the, it can be academics or arts. We have to identify and bring them up to the one platform. That is also doing that is, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> So, the child-centered programs here is activity-based learning, project-based learning, robotics and mechanics, IT training. The special program is peer-to-peer -peer YL, as I said, science fairs. Night school operation Vasanta. Here I would like to take another one minute to share about operation Vasanta. Uh, because normally we are conducting in the uh, sessions in the daytime. See, the operation Vasanta, how it came. Why this is operation, something you are doing like a <laughs> military office like this. It's not like that. See, one day uh, our chairman sir and other people are came into the campus in the classroom. They are learning Agastya methodology. We interacted with them. So after learning here, what you are going to do with that? She said, sir, whatever I am learning here, I am going to teach my friends and neighbors. She said, is it right? Is it true? She said, yes. If you have any doubt, any time you can come. Whenever I am coming here, whatever I am learning here, I am teaching to children. Surprisingly, we did not inform any, any communication to her. And we visited there. Evening time, she is sitting there in front of their home. And she is teaching for the at least 10 to 15 children. We were just surprised and asked. When the girl is teaching to other children, they are more curious, they are very free to ask questions. When adults teaching something, children have some uh, hesitation. When the peers is uh, teaching, they are more free to ask anything, whatever they not understood or they can pose other questions. So at that time we thought, why can't we start such kind of well, centers that is called Operation Vasanta. Now we have more than 1,000 Operation Vasanta centers in the nation. Here again, the teacher centered programs is content-based training, mathematics and science. We have the Ramanujam Park in the campus, lab in a box program, IT trainings, model making session, 
and competition. Model making is a very good interest. Normally, children will be, sorry, teachers like became their students. <coughs> they will involve much. Teach one to, one teach to other pro program. Sorry. Again, make your own lab. See, recently we are doing, it can be Andhra Pradesh and the Telangana. Uh, we are resetting the labs and providing the training of the Agastya methodology and they have to take. So everywhere Agastya cannot be served. It, it is not possible. Everywhere Agastya cannot be there. Whatever is possibility is there, Agastya is doing. But the methodology is important. And, <coughs> and we are trying to train the teachers and they have to take forward. And the uh, community centered program is collaboration with uh, medical and engineering college. Definitely health, health awareness, especially in the COVID situation, we brought a um, few uh, doctors and we educated the children regarding the COVID and other uh, um, hygiene, uh, hygiene. Voluntary programs we are doing, mother's meeting. So agricultural, agriculture sessions for the farmers. These are all things we are doing. I think some slide is missing. Let me come back to this. Huh. And the outreach program is Mobile Lab Science Center Innovation Bus, Thing is secondly. Already I spoken with this, not required. So again, teacher training about empower teachers, hands on methods in teaching, here to multiple effect, online teacher training. So nearly 5,000 teachers per annum we trained. Is non residential. Residential is we have the capacity of 2500 per annum for the teachers. And this is the constructivism, four days residential training. Make your own lab is three to four days NCRT syllabus. Constructivism with make your own lab. Again, make your own lab <coughs> combines CDPs and MYYL. Again, digital outreach here. Lab in a tab, mobile app, web portal. See here, lab in a tab, whatever uh, the activities is loaded into the tab, children can directly uh, <coughs> open the tab and they can take whichever the class 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, which topic they required, which top, which activities they have to do. Uh, here in the lab in a tab, they can do. In the mobile app, Whatever the children, how many children are participating in the sessions, what is the topic, <coughs> all these things every day we will upload into the mobile app and web portal is, is available. Outcome and impact. Uh, we have so many impact assessment stories and impact. Here the science, scientific concepts, leaderships, creative problem solving things, confidence again, curiosity. These are all outcome from the methodology what Augustia is following. And Augustia hands and classes deliver to the impact. Augustia delivers 11 to 18 percent of students' annual science class hours. And finally, impact studies confirm value of Augustia calibrated hands on approach. This with this both. Here we can see the graph. What is the uh, mobile lab, science center, lab on a bike in 2018-19? This is uh, because uh, after 20, we did not take any of these things. Till 2019, this is. So, can come here. Other outcomes, some solving problems for helping humanity, rural art can be urban, solving problems for helping family or self, Helping scientific individuals like friends, neighbors, or any, anybody. Here is the, see, here, majority of 29% is here changing a learning approach. Majorly, we are focusing on learning approach. And this 90 change in personal behavior. Only science is not enough. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. See, for the children, as, as you know, they require the, some values. Definitely, they require the values. 
So change in personal behavior improve their daily routine, more responsibility in the way of living. Way of living also more important. Only size is not enough. All right. I can come. I can skip some of the slides. I think uh, time is. Okay. Okay. Here. See in the national fairs, the children reach this. Roja, Rani and Roja, they awarded the national. Iris Initiative for Research and Innovation in Science. This is conducted by Intel, uh, Intel and CII. Every year like this, our children, these are all, all the government school children, we are guiding, nurturing how they have to think, what they have to do and guiding, then they are reaching these levels. See here, some of the people, whatever they have experienced, because I, uh, lead the team in one year. They even did not have the experience, the train experience, because they did not travel in the train. So such a remote area children having this so much of potentiality and we are, we are bringing up here and they went to uh, US on the same, for the same competition. It is, it is aha moment. And this guy, I think, Varaprasad, competed in internship in IIS and biochemistry, became chartered accountant, started in was CFM. These are all our uh, uh, young instructors, leaders. Toja Jansi, now uh, pursuing PhD in plant pathology. She, she is the girl here. She is the girl here. <laughs> no, she, she is the girl here. She won the prize. And teachers will be back. Training program created in the interest to know the know and learn more about science. It inspired me making my students to think scientifically. So whenever they are coming to the training, uh, uh, I cannot say this is proud, but I would like to share with you. Normally, all our teachers they are very certified, MSc, BA, PH, all these people will be there. Oh. When they are coming to the Agastya teacher training program, okay, what these people are going to say, let us see. The first day, half an hour, one hour will over. Then slowly they will involve in the activities. Even the bio break, they won't go. Sir, it is not required now. I will go later. Let me complete this. They will become as if children, they will enjoy much. Even the lunch break, even the evening till 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, they will do the experiments, the activities. Then they, they enjoy a lot. And uh, this is Agastya's achievement and recognitions. The Harvard and the Stanford Social Innovation, Education, all these things is Agastya achievements and recognitions. Uh, here I would like I can I would like to say this is a mem sorry something is happening okay sorry member of prime minister's national knowledge commission 2008 August founder elected Ashoka fellow member of Karnataka Innovation Council member of Karnataka Vision group of science and technology member of Central Advisory Board of Education Government of India member of Pradhan Mantri's Innovative Learning Program member of Andhra Pradesh School Monitoring Committee also. Uh, he is the chairman, Mr. Ramji Raghavan. Media comments. Media comments, so we cannot go now because we, it requires more time. <laughs> and uh, global educators in Natagastya. So all over the globe, the people will come and learn, especially in the Michito district, which we have the campus there, they can do the research also. And uh, support mentors, visitors. This is our lovable uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, sir. I'm, I'm always quite happy to see him. <laughs> so then you can see another house, sir. I think here. Yeah. Hmm. Supporters, you can see. Swaminathan, sir, and Smriti Irani, and uh, Vijay Raghavan, sir, FRS, Chen Kumar. And uh, here, uh, let me see this. Uh, OK. Radio Chief Minister of Karnataka State. And 
बहुत सारे हैं दिस आर ऑल सपोर्टर्स सम ऑफ द पीपल पुट हियर नॉट एवरी वन मे नॉट पुट हियर सो दिस आर मेजर पार्टनर्स फॉर द अगस्तिया and this area especially let me come this okay ha karnataka government is supporting this areas karnataka government supporting and uh, the photographs of dignitaries here so we have the campus i think you may see seen there sir if you have any kind of question please ask me regarding this is time to at least i can also learn something if I am, it is in my limits definitely i can uh, answer or i will take it to the my management and one, only one thing is uh, with the upcast we are very happy we are uh, always ready to work with upcast we are working definitely we will uh, next month we will meet madam okay thank you thank you if you have any questions please come forward otherwise you can thank you thank you very much thank you very much balram garu so the, uh, this is only webinar we can't connect like question answer session uh, like uh, it's not scheduled okay ma'am thank you maybe we'll provide your um, mail id to them if anybody have any queries they will contact you thank okay. you very much for your activities in andhra pradesh state and other states in the country really we are uh, doing a lot of contribution towards the science uh, i am very much happy to know about uh, that as you said uh, science is not only uh, important for the children their way of life and the thinking out of box is very very important the innovation yeah. thinking that made them more successful so we have to um, tell them what is what is their strength so that is our teachers duty and our institutions like us we have to guide them we have to find out their strengths and we have to encourage their strength you are doing excellent job uh, all over the country so applause to you and your team i will uh, i am looking forward to collaborate with you in future so all our interest are overlapped almost 100% yes, we can work together we had very good synergy with the bbm people so okay. and we are doing lot of programs like that if you come forward we to involve in our activities what best we can do we'll also do from our side thank you very much and we'll thank move you. on to next presentation yeah madam ah, yeah please uh, you are now i uh, i'll speak about the second speaker by data dr nirmala krishnamurthy she is uh, obtained her phd in chemistry from university of kota during 2008 her doctoral dissertation was focused on providing insight into the recognition and repair of oxidized genein lesion by a diverse set of base excision repairs agents then she carried out her post doctoral research at case western reserve university in breast cancer chemo prevention she was a faculty member at, at the rank of an assistant professor at the department of chemistry at uh, notre dame college usa where she took a interest in chemical education research overall she has 9 years of experience in uh, handling lecture and laboratory course in general organic biochemistry yeah, at all levels of bsc and msc curriculum she joined in the indian institute of science education and research i sir tripathi as a visiting faculty during august 2019 her current research interest include evaluate effective pedagogical strategies outcome based active learning and stem education with this now i request nirmala krishnamurthy to uh, uh, speak about your presentation please Can you see my slides? Can you hear me, Madam? Voice very low. Volume is low. No, this can still low. 
then this is visible yeah screen is visible right yeah ma'am yeah. yeah okay and the uh, volume is better now little bit better can you increase okay is that better yeah okay all right let me go ahead and uh, start the slide yeah uh, please let me know if it's moving okay so a uh, very good afternoon to all of you uh, my name is nirmala krishnamurthy i'm a faculty at uh, iser tirupati in the department of chemistry and i would like to thank all of you for giving me an opportunity to talk about uh, the science communication uh, initiatives that we offer at iser tirupati all right so what is iser tirupati we are a science and technology institution uh, and a national institute of excellence where we use science education and blend it with state of the art research and skill development so we have various programs the first is a bs ms dual degree program that you come in after your 12th standard we also offer integrated phd and phd programs that you do post your bsc msc or btech and then we have a post doctorate program our emphasis is on interdisciplinary and applied sciences so what are the mandates of the outreach programs at isa tripathi we try to disseminate uh, the importance of scientific research and innovation because that's what we do here at isa we create a lot of interest in science in neighboring schools and universities colleges and we publicize careers in science among students and the general public we also generate measures for pedagogical methods and for teacher training so overall the arcs of what we do at the outreach uh, programs in isa tirupati come into four categories pedagogical curriculum development faculty and student outreach programs and finally uh, our big science day celebrations so uh, as um, mr balaraman was talking from the agastya foundation is talking about Uh, there is something we need to really think more about our education here generally education is you lecture to the kids that's pretty much what we call learning that's been happening for a long long time but here at iser we believe in a different methodology in new pedagogical methods of teaching so we have a center for excellence for technology enhanced learning called pragyan where we try to give the power back to the learners which is the students so this program was started with a collaboration with the nanyang tech university in singapore and pragyan tries to do a transition from content based teaching to outcome based learning so what does that even mean so basically when we teach something a teacher subject we are told teach all of these topics that's it that's content based teaching but that's not enough what we try to do is an outcome based method where we tell if you do this course at the end of this course you will be able to do the following things so it's not topic based it's outcome based you set a series of outcomes and then try to teach the material so that you achieve these outcomes this is the new pedagogical method we do flipped classrooms which means uh, we instead of just lecturing and the students going and doing assignments at home we do video content lectures and the students come into class and actually work on the problems so that is the flip classroom we use a lot of cloud learning management systems where all of this material is available to the students online and now we all do online teaching but uh, our goal here is to complement face to face interactions that we have always done with the online education modules so we can create effective classrooms and we have active learning where the students are actively learning either you know with face to face with the teachers or as a group with their peers this encourages positive interdependence all of this goes into our idea that we need to uh, advance and change how we teach our new generation of students so okay great we have all of this how do we use this knowledge that we practice at isa tirupati and make sure that it benefits the public and the local people who live around us so one of the things we do is uh, participate in a program called the bachelor of science blended bsc program the program is in collaboration with the university of melbourne but it actually directly affects colleges around us so since we are in the chitur districts we work with sv university and the affiliated colleges uh, so this year uh, 
especially after the pandemic, uh, we've started working with PVK and college in the Ch in Chittur district. And our goal is this. They have this new blended BSE program where the kids get a degree from the University of Melbourne too, along with the uh, local college. What ICER does is we design their curriculum. We ensure the quality assurance of the program because we are into science and technology here at our institute. We are the right people to ensure that there is a quality to this program. These pictures actually show the MOUs that were signed with University of Melbourne and SV University in Tirupati uh, to introduce this BS blended program. And I'm actually part of that. So it's an amazing program where we train a bunch of young students to think differently. It's the same BS degree you think but the kids are made to think at a different level it's a very challenging program and we're looking forward to working with these local colleges other than that uh, we've always had workshops webinars and interactive sessions on pedagogical methods of teaching and because of the pandemic and the fact that we all had to go online we shifted this to an online mode in fact uh, in collaboration with the indian national young academy of science or inyas we started the pandemic season literally with a virtual teaching session because we understand not many people are equipped to teach online so when the pandemic started and there were so many school teachers and colleges which were struggling to make the shift what we tried to do was give them the training so that they can go ahead and manage this online teaching at their institutions so we had speakers from different areas of science chemistry biology math uh, so that who they could interact with these teachers and tell them how they could handle a class online it is a challenge and so we do our best uh, to help you know, reach out to these teachers and make their teaching more effective. So these were the pedagogical programs. Then I would like to talk about the faculty outreach. These are the outreach programs that the faculty at ISER actually do regularly. We organize talks, workshops, we organize webinars. All of this is for teachers as well as students, both at the school level and at the college level also organize visits to Aisa Tirupati. Of course, this was all pre-pandemic and this would be for schools and colleges so they can come and visit our institution because we have world-class facilities, especially with uh, you know science research. And this would give these students an opportunity. And when they see this, they are inspired, inspired to take science and you know pursue science in their own lives. So this would give them this wonderful opportunity. And I know Mr. Balram and talk, uh, spoke a lot about the Agastya Foundation. We do have an outreach program with Agastya Foundation, and we're very proud of that. And I'll speak for a few minutes on that, just give a few highlights. So one of the things we do every year is what we call the Nobel Evening. So as you all know, the Nobel Prizes are awarded every year. And once that is announced, you know, a lot the common man really doesn't understand what this is for. As a science institution, this is kind of our bread and butter. We do this on a regular basis. So what we try to do is have some of our faculty who are experts in that area try to take this, uh, you know, this work that was given the Nobel Prize and try to explain it to the common man. This is usually streamed live uh, so that the public can also have access to it and understand what was this Nobel Prize for. This would inspire an entire generation of students who can finally understand what was this prize for, what were the contributions, and so you know, uh, take them to greater heights. We do this every year, and this is just uh, a flyer of one of those events. I apologize. And then uh, every year we also introduce, you know, have talks, workshops and webinars. And this year, of course, we had to do a lot of these webinars. So some of these are flyers of the events that we did. And uh, we do two kinds of events. One is what we call the subject enrichment lecture series in which uh, basically the talks are given by our faculty, but the topics are chosen actually by the school teachers or the college teachers. So usually this comes in as a request, say once we had from the uh, AP Biological Science Teachers Forum, the Kendri Vidyalaya school teachers come to us, they give us a list of topics on which they want more information. So then our faculty actually go ahead and talk to these teachers and students about these topics and help them understand that. That is the subject enrichment series. And this is done in physics, chemistry, uh, math, and uh, biology, because those are our major fields. And the science academic lecture workshop focuses on mathematics and is invariably meant for college students and lecturers. 
Other than that, we also give research talks because all the faculty here at Isa Tirupati in, are involved in research. Our main theme is research and education. So obviously our faculty go around and talk about the research that they do at various colleges and schools. And this is some of uh, the images from our faculty outreach programs. The one at the top is actually was our dean of faculty. The one below was um, a chemistry professor who was also the dean of academics. And beyond that, before the pandemic, we would actually go to these schools and colleges. So as you can see in the picture, that's a lot of our faculty going to local government schools to try to talk to the students. And this is also done in the local language. Now, ICER is a very heterogeneous institution. Most of us don't speak uh, the local language, but we have faculty in every field, uh, some of them who speak Telugu. So we use that and we ask these faculty, they go ahead and talk to the local government schools to ensure even if it's not English that they understand, they ensure that this can be delivered in Telugu so the local students actually benefit. And this is a great opportunity for them to understand science. We do this on a regular basis. And these are more pictures from such events at government schools and colleges. Uh, we also organize visits to Isa Tirupati. Uh, this is when the students come in and see our labs, our facilities. They listen to special lectures. They sometimes even perform at our institute, their special, uh, what they have learned and things like that. So we encourage these visits from school students and college students so that they get to experience the world-class research that we have here. And I promised a little bit on the Agastya Foundation. And uh, so we have an outreach program with the Agastya Foundation where we meet the stars from the Navodaya schools and we organized a, uh, a seminar for them on science, math and the world around you. Uh, this was in the age group of 14 to 16 and the faculty from ICER talked about their own experience in science and, in science and math and who inspired them. How did they become who they are today? So this was to encourage the young students to pursue science uh, in the future. We also uh, had a workshop for these students and the idea was to increase the awareness of interdisciplinary sciences, research methods, publication practices among the students. Uh, they also interacted with a team of our Isa Tripathi students who won an international uh, competition in synthetic biology so they could understand how you actually conduct research. Instead of all the talk, these kids actually get to see what is being done. And for several months during the pandemic, uh, the faculty from various departments at ICER engaged in a workshop series with the gifted children that Mr. Uh, Baram was talking about from the Agastya Foundation. So the school children are drawn from all over the country, and this is under the leadership of the Agastya Foundation. What we provide is the workshop itself. So we provide them innovation and research directions in biology, math, and physics. This went on since last September until March of this year with a few with the December break. And every week, a bunch of faculty would meet with these students in groups of five or 10, and they would discuss ideas. And at the end of the sessions, they would all meet together and see what the big picture is. Okay? So this was a very intensive program, these gifted children, because they are capable of this. They can handle this, and this is what they need to be inspired. Uh, so with that, I'll move on to the Science Day celebrations. Uh, as uh, Aparnagaru was talking about in the beginning, the Science Day celebrations are a big deal. And uh, one of the things that we do as a science institute is to make sure that we do outreach activities for our Science Day celebrations. So before the pandemic, uh, when we would celebrate Science Day, we would usually have popular science talks by eminent scientists. There will be lots of science demonstrations. The hallways at Isa Tripathi are filled with demonstrations. And several local schools and colleges come in, watch, visit, and participate in these activities because we usually have a science, a mega science quiz and several activities that they can participate in. This is some of the pictures from one of those events. In 2020, we had the women in science as the theme. So as you can see, there was a special lecture series in the left. And on the right, there was a special lecture on the women in science itself. These are student demonstrations that Isa Tripathi students organized for Science Day. Uh, they cover chemistry, as you can see with the yellow, uh, you know, elephant thing up here, foam here. And there's ecology on the left, there's biology at the bottom, there's physics in between, and the one at the bottom is actually chemistry again with 
liquid nitrogen. If you put flower petals in liquid nitrogen, they literally crack. The petals become so hard, they will crack. So that was a fun experiment for the students to come in and watch. And these are being demonstrated by the students of Isat Tirupati. Uh, and two years ago, we also had this very special event called the escape room. For those of you who are not familiar with an escape room, it is a game in which you have to enter a room and to move on to the next room, you have to solve a puzzle. If you lose the puzzle, if you fail in it, you are kicked out of the game. But if you solve the puzzle, you go to the next room and on to the next room until you finish all the rooms and then the person who finishes first is the winner. So we have a course here at Isa Tirupati that I actually teach called on forensic sciences. And the students from that class actually designed an escape room activity based on forensic science. So there's an imaginary crime scene and people have to come and solve the crime. We had different crime scene situations. Then people uh, and then pe teams of two or three people would go and try to solve the crime. So this is fingerprint analysis. There's blood analysis. You have to pick up uh, little trace evidence, all of that. I was amazingly popular, as you can imagine, because it combines science with something that we all love, solving crime. Who doesn't like to watch a good crime show? So this was a fun activity that we organized that day. And during this, uh, lots of students come in and uh, visit us on Science Day usually. This is from a college in Coimbatore. Uh, they came, traveled all the way to visit us and be part of our uh, Science Day celebration. Uh, once we went online, uh, last year we did the virtual science day, uh, and I'm sure uh, you can recognize the person at the top screen. He's uh, Mr. Ramji, who's from the Agastya Foundation, and he was one of our eminent speakers for that day. So we organized uh, a virtual talk, and then we had a virtual science fair, which was open to students from all over the country. So we opened a participation from both high school and college students, and the kids had to uh, they were given topics and they had to present a solution to that problem. Uh, we had more than 100 people who eventually managed to participate with this with some brilliant ideas. Then we had a bunch of judges who brought it down to 20 people who came and presented online their ideas for solving these problems. And uh, they were given cash prizes for that. It was a very successful virtual fair. Again, this year we are doing a series of events this weekend. Uh, not this kind of fair because we're trying to do something else this year, but there's a series of competitions and shows uh, that's open for schools and colleges. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is our student outreach program. These are the outreach programs that our students uh, participate in and ensure success. The biggest one tends to be our student club called Unnati, which does an educational outreach to local government schools. Uh, this they do by having interactive sessions with the students of the government schools, by science demonstrations, fun activities. But besides science also, they help uh, these kids by training them in English speaking skills and computer skills. Unnati does a lot. Even through the pandemic, they've stayed in touch with the students. They are very, very connected to the local government schools and uh, villages out there, and they contribute a lot to our society. We also have what we call a citizen science outreach program, where uh, this is with our environmental club, the Prakriti Club, and they encourage students and the public to participate in what they call the Great Backyard Bird Count. It actually happened uh, last week where people literally go uh, they download an app and you can go and start counting the birds in fact uh, the area uh, around isa tirupati invariably leads on a national scale the number of birds that we count so it's kind of involving the general public especially younger students uh, the citizen science project also trains school teachers uh, to maintain to understand what is biodiversity they uh, arrange talks and workshops, and they do training for forest officers. I'll show you a couple of pictures from their uh, events. As you can see, they have talks. The one on the left panel is where the students are counting the birds. The one below is where teachers are learning how to use the app. And the one on the bottom right is actually our forest officers who are being trained to understand biodiversity in Andhra Pradesh. And I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Raja Bandi, who is our citizen science coordinator at Isa Tirupati. And we owe a lot to him because he, uh, he participates in all of this. He helps our students organize these events. And finally, during the lockdown, we had a lot of online sessions called Ideathon. This was mainly for technological innovations. We had lockdown labs where the students had to participate uh, and solve a biological problem literally online. 
Uh, we also held a national science quiz. This was open to all colleges around the country called Abhipragna. And we organized webinars and workshops. All of this was done by the various student clubs at Isa Tripathi. There is a chemistry club, there's a biology club, there's a physics club, there's a math club. They all take turns to uh, do these programs. And uh, there is a competition called iGEM, and I promised you I'll talk about this. It's called the International Genetically Engineered Machine. It's a worldwide synthetic biology competition organized by uh, an, ag an agency in the US and it usually 60 countries participate in this. So the last three years, Isar Tripathi has participated and we have won the gold medal on three occasions. So that, those are pictures from those events. Uh, now, why am I talking about that? Because even though the problem is a synthetic biology problem, as part of it, they do a public outreach program. So every year, the students who participate in this iGym uh, program do webinars, do surveys, do workshops, trying to encourage and shine a light on these biological problems to the general public. That is part of their agenda, and they are hugely successful. They do it now online. They when before the pandemic, they would actually go out and canvas and talk to people. So this way, the public also gets to hear about the science that is being done in such institutions. So with that, I would like to thank uh, the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, as well as the Andhra Pradesh State Council of Science and Technology for giving me an opportunity to talk about all the things that we do at Isa Tripathi. I also want to uh, thank Aparna Garu and Rao Garu for giving me an opportunity to speak. And finally, a big shout out to all the students, staff and faculty at Isa Tripathi uh, who do all of these uh, programs. Uh, we are building a new campus for those of you not so we are in our transit campus. Our main campus is coming at Air Pedal. Uh, only a section of it is open. So this is our main campus. So I invite you, and this is a view of the probably the biggest research. Uh, this is just an undergraduate lab uh, that you see here, and it's probably the biggest one we have, I think, in the country. It's exclusively for laboratory uh, sessions for undergraduate students. And we are building this campus. And uh, once all the pandemic is done, I, I would like to invite you guys. And uh, I'm very grateful to the council for uh, you know, giving me an opportunity. And I hope we can participate and work together uh, on reaching out and taking science to the common man. Thank you, sir. So thank you very much, Nirmala Krishnamurti uh, Garu, for your uh, involvement in our Ajadika uh, Amrit Mahotsav and explaining uh, either activities to full extent. Uh, thank you very much. You haven't uh, left even a single option. Uh, what is uh, to popularize science? You explored all the options uh, and you are implementing very successfully. Almost there is a lot of uh, comparison between your activities and other act our activities also. What I observed from your presentation maybe we can uh, we look forward to have agastha foundation yourself uh, and Iser and uh, upcast and uh, rsc tirupati we can um, form a circuit and we can um, we can go more into public and we can do a lot of popularization and communication about the scientist i too agree with you about the the inspiration a lot of inspiration will come from nobel laureate uh, um, uh, lectures on, on Nobel Laureate in, inventions, and sometimes they'll get the inspiration. Maybe they may not uh, reach to that uh, level. Maybe they reach that level. Some may get the inspiration and they work. So that is why for our National Science Day celebrations also, we plan for uh, one lecture on C.V. Raman and four lectures on uh, like ins like inspirational, like Talvas, uh, um, uh, Edison and other four uh, Nobel laureate uh, uh, lectures uh, to inspire the students, especially. Uh, I, I, uh, practically, I like uh, biodata of uh, the uh, eminent personalities. Uh, definitely, there are a lot of learning things from their biodata biographies. So at least uh, sometimes if we can give those, uh, uh, if they are exposed to those type of biographies or uh, biodatas, so they will have a lot of exposure and inspiration. So really, uh, you haven't, I'm really, uh, you were uh, out, outcome based uh, education program, how you are successfully implementing and how you are uh, having synergy with the schools and uh, other institutes really appreciate your efforts. 
and uh, you are uh, really um, and in fact your uh, campus is also very beautiful and definitely i'll try to visit tirupati i am also most of my education was done in s university tirupati i am alumni of uh, s university tirupati so i have a lot of attachment towards the tirupati this time definitely when i visit tirupati i'll visit iz2 thank you very much thank you. Um, thank you. thanks a lot from our side of cas side and dst on behalf of dst i'm thank you very much and we involve more activities in future thank you thank you madam now uh, we will go to next uh, speaker uh, he is mr mmk balaji working as a project coordinator or uh, region science center uh, is a um, uh, part of the national council for science museums Uh, situated at Alipiri, Tirupati, it is a very prominent and pilgrimage uh, center. Before uh, his presentation, I would like to uh, have his uh, qualifications and experience. He completed his post graduation in MS in physics from SC University, Tirupati, during 2005, and completed MS in science communication from Vits Pilani during 2013. So his professional experience is. He worked as a uh, physics 2005 on the age at the Sri Ramarama Degree College in Karachi, and then lecture this from 2008 to 2009 Oxford University Karachi. He did more than 10 uh, scientific courses for the students of other courses. Then joined the greater in science museum in the government of India. and 9 so attended attended a european science center comes a conference 2009 and 2016 in italy he attended national level to international on exhibit development held at national for science in calcutta he presented papers on topic table top science exhibits that is not kits and demonstrations National workshop at 2000, I think, at the National Council for Science, Calcutta, for which he was an architect. Uh, attended International Arts Olympics, Olympiad team leader in China, Romania, the years 2018 and 2019. He designed his development and near the hundred exhibits, themes of atmosphere. and mythos on conversion and from science he early um, uh, uh, as a project board and uh, opal also uh, adding the exhibit development collaborative from 2009 to so the member uh, uh, in science congress association Kal So now uh, I request to give him the opportunity to present his activities for the science, especially for the science and science through the RSC. Or to share, please. Good evening to all. Is my screen visible? Sir, screen is visible. Why, sir? okay my voice is also clear i think yeah what clear no okay so good evening to all uh, who are part of this science popularization program and first of all thanks to the member secretary apcost for giving me this opportunity and the team and also the other speakers and uh, who are uh, part of this uh, uh, program so like earlier uh, Uh, speaker from Iser and uh, from Agatya Foundation uh, has spoken about the science communication Balaji, and powerful dimension. Balaji, your your video, uh, yes, now it is okay. Yes, right. So about uh, their activities and their style of working and what are the various activities they are doing, and we are also in the same uh, fashion. Uh, we work in same fashion. but uh, we cover uh, more uh, wider areas and uh, in fact our infrastructure and the facilities what we have uh, will reach more public 
so we'll go in detail into it and uh, uh, before going into what is science popularization and what is uh, uh, science communication i'll simply say uh, two words about about what is science and what is technology science is nothing but knowing the things around us that is the uh, nature gives nature tells us everything but only thing is we have to understand how it is happening and why it is happening that is nothing but our science and if you apply that science to do something or to make some thing or some machinery or some tool it is nothing but the technology so these both are interrelated without science you cannot do any technology or you cannot invent technology and if there is no science technology is not possible now we'll come to the popularization of science actually the scientific awareness and scientific approach is the key process of development for any nation or society here this scientific awareness why it is important because uh, maybe post independence the situation or the education level of most of the people in india was very poor and even there were only few scientific institutions and scientists they were working in the field of science but that time um, most of the people i can say 99% of the people they don't have uh, access to the science activities and what they don't they don't know what is science and maybe so a few scientific organizations like indian association for cultivation of science and some institutions in kolkata and some institutions in somewhere in tamil nadu or gujarat they are working for science so to increase the scientific awareness the government of india has introduced the five year plan and in the second and third five year plans they focused on the scientific uh, development and after that the awareness they highlighted or they know that uh, the scientific awareness is very important and how to achieve it requires constant efforts to create awareness on science and technology issues and i have public understanding and appreciation of science and technology as well to develop scientific temper in the society so it is not that in one day or in one month or in one year we can achieve this scientific awareness it lead, it needs a lot of efforts and people needs to be educated uh, whether it is a formal type or informal or non formal education but the scientific temper to be stimulated in public so that they know what is the importance of science and technology and for that who are the main uh, persons is the scientists because scientists normally they propose some theory or they discover something they invent something but it should not be limited to four walls or a laboratory it should go to the public and there should be a mechanism to do this process and it's not that we'll build a factory so that science will grow there and science will uh, be developed there it's not like that there there should be a process and for that process we should have uh, it, the ima human imagination means even the any scientist also before going to or before uh, start start his research or whatever he should have an imagination and he should have creativity and that creativity he should bring it to originality so that a concept or a law or a theory will be formed and this science popularization depends on cooperation and people testing each other's work on and on people taking notice of each other because when there is cooperation between people or between organizations or between scientists then only it spreads to many people this part was actually lagging during 1950s and 60s thereafter the government of india has set up a task force and that task force has uh, submitted its report and after the submission of the task force a report government of india has thought that in india also like like we have uh, heard about some museums in uh, broad like smithsonian it's a first museum which was started interactive exhibits interactive science exhibits 
so this interactive science exhibition normally we uh, read science through books because that time books was the only source to know about what is science but smithsonian has stepped into one more uh, height by doing small experiments or small by constructing small exhibits that by interacting with that particular exhibit they know actually what is science and why this is happening and how this is happening and with the inspiration from the smithsonian the government of india has set up some museums two museums initially the first museum set up the science museum i am telling the first museum which was set up in india was birla industrial and technological museum which was in which is in kolkata and the museum is now also it is uh, open for the public and it has a lot of collection of the industrial and the technological um, advancements during that time so the birla industrial and technological museum was the first science museum in india and then the second museum was came up uh, in vishwe in bangalore that is visveswaraya industrial and technological museum and these two museums has set up a benchmark to induce the scientific temper among the public because till that time before that uh, uh, up to uh, maybe you can say up to 1962 or 1965 people uh, don't know about uh, how a uh, steam engine works or how a steam locomotive works so all these are um, unknown to them so when these museums were open up people went there and they came to know how these uh, and uh, industrial uh, equipment how they functions and what is the science behind that and the, after that to start the scientific temper among the people the task force which has submitted his report in 1978 government of india under the society act formed this national council of science museums and they clubbed this visveshwaraya as well as this birla industrial and technological museum into ncsm and when ncsm is formed it started expanding his wings so slowly we have started building other science centers all over india see this is our uh, ncsm nationwide uh, map you see now we are running with 25 science centers all over india and we have our central headquarters at kolkata and we have four zonal headquarters at delhi bombay bangalore and kolkata these zonal headquarters are again divided into means like under the national level zone there are other small, some small level centers are also there like we have divided sub categorized those level centers into regional level as well as district level like here the center which is located in tirupati is called as a regional science center tirupati means it covers the entire state of ap and telangana so the this center uh, covers the activities all the activities in ap and telangana and also in tamil nadu in tirunelveli we have one more science center it's a district level science center where it covers the entire Telang uh, tamil nadu and puducherry likewise we have centers in karnataka we have centers in maharashtra so the science center network spread all over india and under our chain as of now we have 25 science centers and we have constructed and handed over more than 50 science centers to respective state governments or respective trusts uh, in the state governments of course the centers which is in andhra pradesh la and telangana like uh, varangal and vijayawada science center now the upcoming rajamandri science center is also being constructed by ncsm national council of science museums so when ncsm was formed it has formed with some objectives what are the main objectives it is first thing is to enhance the public awareness on the importance of science and technology so people should know why what is the importance of science and technology through its variety of activities and also every day we used to see lot of developments in science and technology every day new advances new adventures new technologies will come 
but how people will know through science centers uh, to convey the excitement of advances in science and technology to the younger generation means it's not that when uh, the museum started in uh, 1978 at the same uh, display we are having like uh, the traditional uh, uh, no uh, no touch uh, museums actually nor normally people have a ma in, in mind that museums like if you if i take an example of solarzing museum there everything whatever is displayed you can see that but you cannot touch it and you can see you cannot experience what is there but when the science center movement came into india we opened the gates that you have to touch the exhibit you have to interact with the exhibit so that you know what is behind what is the science behind and also it's not that normally um, when we talk about science and technology people think that it is only for the students and it's not for the common man but ncsm uh, takes takes this responsibility that the scientific temper needs for common man also because when uh, there was a situation where this uh, um babas or uh, these superstitions were dominated by some dominated in some parts of the society because because of these myths and uh, other uh, uh, things people used to believe or go behind these babas that something some uh, something is going to happen say for example when an nariyal or the coconut is burnt suddenly so something is there in you or to remove that i have to do some puja sara you have to do some favor to me so these kind of myths are plenty even as of now also in some of the villages people believe these kind of myths and uh, superstitions so, so to eradicate all these myths and superstitions we take the responsibility that common man should also know the science behind these uh, activities like how all of a sudden uh, when you cut a lemon into two pieces how you see red color there is a science behind it and without blood how you can cut your hand there is a science behind it and how a coconut can be burnt instantly without uh, the help of fire so all these things are nothing but the science and you can bring some uh, vibhuti and bhasma from your fingers so everything involves science and only by knowing these simple science tricks these babas will mischiefs people and they will get benefits so this we thought no no that scientific temper should be reached to common man also and then to increase the capacity of community for informed decision making here it's not that we only do uh, the programs but we involve public also and we involve people to be uh, part of our decision making uh, capacity and then we take inputs from them and we do the science popularization and in this process as i have already explained to eradicate uh, and to literate people about the myths and misbeliefs and superstitions we do lot of programs and we do uh, programs for all sections of the society it's not that we have limited to only school or college we do programs for all sections so this is not required so all science centers when we uh, make exhibits and when we fabricate exhibits we follow this because uh, it's a famous uh, chinese proverb i read i forget i see i remember i do i understand so our main principle is the third line they have to do they have to interact with the exhibit then only they will understand what is the science behind that particular exhibit like in all over uh, ncsm network as of now we have more than 5000 exhibits on various science principles and all these exhibits are more interactive and when public interacts with that particular exhibit they will come to know what is the science behind it and uh, in simple i'll explain like we have uh, three type of education system in our uh, uh, day to day life or uh, particularly say in india like we have schools colleges and universities so they have a planned curriculum they have specific timings and they have qualified teachers and they involve some activities inside the classroom and we have to follow some discipline we have to follow timings and all these setup we can categorize as a formal education 
and this normally goes in schools, colleges, and universities. Then we come to informal education, and this informal education is nothing but what we learn from our parents and our well wishers, and uh, in our it's like our daily life and uh, practices from our neighbors. Uh, maybe you say how to respect others and how to behave uh, at your home or how to behave in society. So all these things are also important in our life. So these comes under informal education. And the third type is the non-formal education and where the science centers play an important role. And here we combine the about two uh, disciplines because uh, here also we have a particular theme uh, like we fabricate exhibits on particular themes and but we don't uh, limit any boundaries anyone can come anyone can interact and they can enjoy the science as well as uh, this informal uh, thing means like we cover uh, the other uh, issues like uh, as i told it's not that only uh, we cover the school curriculum only we go to uh, the housewives and we do programs for them we go to the senior citizens we do some programs for them so like this non formal education main uh, centers like we come under this category science centers and in fact the public libraries newspapers internet etc so they don't have any boundaries and they don't have any particular uh, theme or curriculum so this uh, science centers come under this non formal setup of education and uh, all our exhibits which we built uh, in our science centers or uh, will follow this mainly this eyes on first they should look at the exhibit and then hands on means when they try to interact with that particular exhibit they means they have to interact with the hands that maybe either they have to press the switch they have to pull the lever or they have to lift something and then they think so uh, once they press the switch something will happen so they will observe means automatically their mind will get on so what is happening there maybe it can be a multimedia video or maybe it can be a lever lifting something or may so this kind of uh, these are the steps uh, when a visitor come in front of uh, an exhibit he will follow and then finally he will come to know what is the uh, science behind that through his uh, emotion or uh, uh, the his uh, memory now this virtual uh, word uh, why i have added because after the pandemic situation we have to approach uh, people through virtually also so this interaction even in fact we have <clears throat> some of our centers they have developed this virtual exhibits so that they can download uh, the app of that particular museum and they can interact virtually with the exhibit also so we are reaching to public both physically as well as virtually and uh, this is our uh, view of uh, regional science center which is located at the foot hills of uh, sheshachala the great uh, tirumala temple and uh, the center was inaugurated uh, in the year 1993 23rd september by the then uh, president of india dr shankar dayal sharma in presence of uh, governor uh, dr krishna kant and then sri kotla vijay baskar reddy the chief minister of that time and we are in the service of the nation for the past 28 years and now we are into the 29th year and what are the galleries we have in our science centers mainly we have popular science gallery and here in this popular science gallery mainly we cover the basic sciences basic sciences means uh, normally we say some experiments or some topics about electricity magnetism and light optics so this popular science gallery covers some basic science things and we have our universe gallery which covers the entire journey of our universe from right from the big bang to the till date uh, means what are the various stages happened now what are the developments during the entire journey of 4.8 billion years and then we have uh, an ex gallery on non conventional energy sources and this gallery covers the non conventional energy sources like the solar energy wind energy and the advanced like geothermal energy we have and even the hydro how we are using the hydrogen as fuel and fuel cells so lot of 
upcoming technologies and already uh, like we are using the solar as well as we are using the wind energy and we are using uh, the geothermal energy so these all these energies and uh, like how many states we are uh, uh, what are the states are advancing in these particular technologies have been covered in this particular gallery and then we have a gallery on illusion which covers uh, the optical illusion uh, section and then we have gallery on our senses like we know uh, our five senses uh, our, uh, about our five senses the touch uh, as well as the vision and the hear, uh, hearing and so about these five senses uh, how, we, how they works all these factors or all these parameters have been covered in this our senses gallery and emerging technologies is another section where the upcoming technologies in the various fields of information technology medical technology and communication sector in space technology have been covered and we have science park which is spread over 12 acres of land park 1 and park 2 and then prehistoric life park which is a, a fantastic life park uh, having the a life con containing the prehistoric animals so we are having near about 35 uh, prehistoric animals and some of them are pneumatically moved so they can uh, move their uh, they can open their mouth they can move their head left right so people really enjoy by seeing the movement of this uh, prehistoric animals and then we have a life science harness where we uh, we have uh, some rabbit corner as well as uh, the pigeon uh, section and then we have a herbal garden to highlight the importance of various herbals we use in day to day life we use, we have a hydrophonics corner also to tell people about the advantages of soilless farming and this technology can be adopted in their balconies and uh, rooftops also and we have other facilities like 3D science show, planetarium, innovation space, activity area where we conduct a lot of activities for the teachers and students. And we have a 300 capacity auditorium and we used to conduct our various programs, lectures and webinars in this auditorium and we have a small conference hall and computer lab. So we conduct various activities for multiple uh, people and uh, we have, these are our core uh, activities. We conduct sky observation programs. We know that sky is a fantastic phenomena to watch and India has great uh, uh, heritage of uh, uh, sky observation uh, and the data of uh, viewing the sky. We have great astronomers like Aryabhatta, Varaha Mihir and many more. Uh, uh, astronomers we have in ancient as well as in current times. So with our equipped 14-inch uh, uh, Celestron telescope, we do sky observation programs during evenings and even on special occasions like solar eclipse and lunar eclipse and conjunctions. And we organize popular science lectures on current topics. Uh, current topics in the sense, say for example, now we are, we are in the pandemic situation and maybe uh, to educate people about the COVID-19 pandemic and what are the preventionary measures we have to take, we organize uh, such lectures and even on Nobel uh, laureate, uh, laureates uh, means on what topics the, and what uh, research they have won the Nobel prizes and to know that what are the, um, what efforts they, what efforts they have put to get uh, the, to get into that particular research that leads to uh, won the Nobel Prize. And then we do commemorative programs like at present we are into the National Science Week, which we observe to commemorate the National Science Day, as well as we observe National um, uh, like Earth, Earth Day we observe, Water Day we observe. So year long activities like near about 30 commemorative programs we observe and then collaborative programs we have uh, institutions collaborate with this i can say appcost is our main collaborator and along with that the rotary club lions club even many institutions in ap they collaborate with us for conducting and uh, giving prizes during our programs and we do science demonstrations as i told 
these science demonstrations are mainly to eradicate the myths and superstitions among the public and to educate them about science and we do lot of uh, creative science workshops for students on various topics like physics chemistry astronomy even biology biotechnology and we do quiz contests we do workshops on aero modeling and astronomy camps astronomy olympiad programs and we do science seminar science fair of course science fair for the past 2 years we are not doing due to covid pandemic and we do lot of computer awareness programs for teachers homemakers and senior citizens and uh, the teacher training program is mainly on the hands on uh, teaching aid development for the teachers on school curriculum and here we use low cost materials using the tools and materials available in science center to make the kits other than this we do temporary exhibitions and uh, like uh, we have now an exhibition on 75 years of india's independence development of science and technologies development or developments in science and technology and we do outreach programs like on request from the schools we go to the schools and we do programs over there and our core program in this uh, setup is mobile science exhibition we have two mobile science exhibitions one is uh, called nagarjuna another one is uh, uh, aryabhatta so these two mobile science exhibitions they visit the rural places because this mobile science exhibition is mainly aimed for the people who are unable to who do, doesn't have access to any kind of transport or uh, uh, any means to reach science center we go to them we uh, do uh, we do conduct programs over there we stay our bus we position we station our bus there for 3 days and we cover all the schools and uh, nearby areas within the 3 days and we'll move to the next site and we do programs for the underprivileged and this was the initiative of government of india here this under under this underprivileged program we support uh, all the schools uh, uh, to come to science center means we fund we fund them so whatever the transport conveyance charges and we invite them to science center we supply them kits and we supply them snacks and lunch at our own cost and we'll have a day long program day long activities for them and we do nature camps uh, in uh, uh, science center as well as in zoo park and uh, swachhata pakwada of course we all know it was the initiative of government of india and we do community programs for the awareness of the community like we do programs for aids awareness program we do programs for even uh, covid uh, awareness programs we do programs for community awareness program so that people should aware that about that particular uh, issue or problem so our major achievements uh, i can say till now this is the data for uh, regional science center like till now we have reached more than 35 lakh people in this 28 years uh, both online and offline of course online is for the past 2 years remaining data is for online and covered about 3 lakh teachers all over india and we have covered more than 400 villages in 23 district uh, of both ap and telangana and uh, at rsct we have an exhibit bank of 400 exhibit and uh, actually this uh, uh, two years back uh, before the pandemic situation we started a new concept of adopting schools and uh, this uh, school adoption program uh, with the help of the commissioner uh, municipal corporation of tirupati we have adopted five municipal schools in tirupati and we are doing programs for them in science popularization and we also introduced this volunteer program this volunteer program is for college students like college students during their free hours without disturbing their school curriculum or college curriculum uh, maybe uh, during their vacation season or saturday sunday they can come to science center and they can explain the exhibits to the visitors so we call it as a volunteer program they can use their communication skills and they can develop their scientific knowledge by demonstrating the science to the public so with some of the pictures uh, i'll show like i was talking about the under privileged program these are the uh, peop- uh, some of the students who have been called to science center and we have supplied them with some kits 
and this was this was our new addition hp232 aircraft which was donated by the indian navy sorry indian air force uh, like uh, some of the uh, pictures of the nature camp which we or which we have organized recently and this is uh, the glimpse of our prehistoric life park and all these upcoming uh, sorry the coming photographs are about our various activities like the first one is our innovation festival and uh, this exhibition is about uh, uh, the pulses which was uh, developed during uh, the international era of pulse pulses which was observed in 2015 and then we have workshop for students and the swachhata pakwada which was doing uh, which was being done uh, by the students as well as our staff members and recently rct has completed it 25 years and to mark that we have developed an exhibition a silver jubilee exhibition and uh, the honorable uh, mla of tirupati uh, madam has come and inaugurated that exhibition and then yesterday we have inaugurated one exhibition like i was discussing about india's independence and its achievements during the 75 years and uh, we have uh, dr k n ganesh who is the director of uh, icer he has inaugurated this exhibition in presence of other dignitaries like this is one of the photo of the teacher training program which we organize regularly for the school teachers both government as well as private teachers and the astronomy education like we have a uh, daytime uh, like bapu under the, this bapu kagol mela program uh, students are observing uh, the shadow of the sun during the daytime observation and we have computer training program for the students yeah. this mobile science exhibition as i have already informed that this is our uh, uh, rural um, uh, dev development program in science popularization this was one of the site in uh, uh like nrnp municipal high school chirala so in this site uh, when our bus was so we do variety of activities it's not that only we'll place the bus uh, containing 24 exhibits we also do science demonstrations and science sky observation programs over there and we organize summer camps during the summer vacations as well as sankranti vacations to engage students on various science activities like uh, these community programs we have we do programs for uh, to commemorate the women's day as well as earth day like i told we do programs awareness programs like this was the rally conducted uh, during uh, the december 1st aids awareness week and uh, to update with the uh, coming or uh, uh, developed technologies also we do workshops on arduino as well as raspberry pi and we do support other institutions also like this was the program organized at KL University as a part of our outreach activity, and uh, this is one of the photo that uh, during uh, an open house quiz, students are eager to answer the questions posed by the quiz master. And we even we cover the physically and mentally challenged people also. We invite them. We do programs for them, and uh, uh, we conduct uh, activities. These are some uh, glimpses of uh, the paper clippings. yeah our uh, another attraction which was added in uh, 2016 that is innovation and space exposition hall that is nothing but the planetarium so under this innovation space i'll skip this so under this innovation space the main purpose of creating this innovation space is uh, to engage people in creative thinking doing things differently identifying problems and solving the solutions for them and developing their own skills and innovation is nothing but improving the performance of a project process efficiency or finding an economically cheap solution so like technology never stops uh, because it, it's a continuous process so when you think differently then only innovations are possible so we have a membership program for this innovation space and i'm proud to say that our members have filed two patents under this program of course here i have not mentioned so two patents have been filed from the innovation uh, space of uh, rsc tirupati and those two patents are awarded for one is for multi purpose agricultural farming vehicle 
and then another one is the electric e cycle e bicycle and the inventor name is um abzal sheik abzal he is a local person from tirupati only he owned two patents and now he has start up uh, he has uh, started his own company of producing e cycles and he is a, a start up uh, company owner now so like that innovation space is providing lot of opportunities to the younger generation and uh, even uh, as of now we have more than 200 innovation space members and they come on their free time and they will do the innovation activities under the guidance of our staff members so uh, i'll uh, finish it uh, with these uh, words uh, like uh, it's nothing but uh, how we are working and how we are popularizing the science and how the science museums and science centers are playing an important role in the society and before uh, going to the thank you i'll show one small video about regional science center and then i'll come end my show i think the video is visible yes yes yeah so these are our prehistoric life park animals this is our innovation space students doing some activities it has six different types of labs this is our science park This is our universe gallery and illusion gallery. This is our our senses gallery. is our emerging technology gallery your popular science gallery So thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, one and all. So thank you very much, Balaji Garu, for participating uh, in this prestigious Ajati Kamrutho Chu program. I really appreciate uh, uh, your efforts to reach to the public with various types of programs. I personally visited a regional science center. I I came to know how systematically you are organizing and you are maintaining the uh, the regional science center. Really lucky. Uh, the, uh, Bala, Lord Balaji, blessings are there for you. That is why uh, we are successfully running and a uh, lot of effort from your side, all the members of Regional Science Center. I want to appreciate the, uh, all the exhibits are well organized and the concept wise. So once the visitors visit your um, Regional Science Center, they will go out with a lot of knowledge. Really, I had that experience. I too visited, and uh, so and reaching outreach to the public uh, by using mobile 
um the uh, mobile exhibition is really really inspiring you can motivate and you can uh, uh, create scientific uh, curiosity and temperament in the village people especially rural students that is very very important we have most of uh, rural areas are there so we are not uh, not only uh, focus uh, in um, uh, urban area rural area is also equally important so you are doing excellent job i had personal experience i visited and i am looking for the video which uh, you are going to show in the last moment really i was uh, i really appreciate ncsm also while doing the um, uh, exhibits uh, they will always they will uh, consider the local issues uh, even constructing the um, uh, exhibits uh, that makes me really um, appreciate them like anything so in case of uh, you are adapting schools anyway is there any possibility to adapt us i want to ask uh, on the behalf uh, so, uh, of we have chosen because it is very easy for us to reach the schools yeah, so yeah. maybe in future if uh, uh, of course this if the pandemic situation is over maybe yeah. we will expand the region so that yeah. other schools not the question of adaptation uri i am uh, lighter side i am asking maybe we can collaborate uh, both our interests are same like uh, um, so maybe if you uh, if you collaborate uh, we can do more programs so some you sure, can sure. provide uh, from your side anyway we are collaborating for the some of the programs yeah yeah so Perfect. and uh, that will be more frequent and uh, in a more vigorous way that is only i expect in future so sure, thank you very much very nice presentation and a very comprehensive presentation about your science center i really appreciate your effort and your uh, involving me in this ajadi kamrutotsav thank you very much and uh, with this uh, uh, we'll go, go for a vote of thanks and uh, our program officer will uh, direct a person to record the vote of thanks thank you very much thank you madam uh with your uh, um, uh, remarks i add one more madam balaji at balaji hills <laughs> okay thanks balaji garu very nice yeah. now, this occasion i i would like to I, I forget i really uh, i met only once manikandan sir when i visited uh, regional science center really it's a great loss to the regional science center i can say in this occasion and uh, um, so may his uh, soul rest in peace the covid situation because of covid yes. situation we lost him that time i too was um, hospitalized but i was shocked for about 3 or 4 days uh, so i was not able to digest that hope um, uh, so you will uh, uh, <coughs> work uh, the, very vigorously so not to think about uh, remembering manikandan always so his services with that spirit you please go ahead thank you very much yes thank you madam so with this uh, uh, i request uh, uh, our uh, colleague and project officer in uh, science city of andhra pradesh sh hemant kumar garu to propose vote of thanks uh, before that uh, we acknowledge the um, presence of the as uh, representative of cdac and uh, dr ravikant prajapati in this uh, meeting thank you very much for both of you sir uh, now i request to the um, hamant kumar guru to propose vote of thanks for the remaining please please of all on my personal behalf i would like to express my sincere thanks to dr bai aparna madam the member secretary of caste for granting me an opportunity to participate in the today's program and for her continuous guidance in organizing the program and also for a detailed presentation on the activities of upcast on behalf of upcast i am very much thankful to dr devapre datta head and advisor c division department of science and technology government of india dr 
బలరాం సీనియర్ మేనేజర్ డాక్టర్ నిర్మలా కృష్ణమూర్తి డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఐజర్ తిరుపతి శ్రీ ఎంఎంకే బాలాజీ ప్లీజ్ లీవ్ దిస్ సెషన్ విల్ మీట్ నెక్స్ట్ సెషన్ జ్యూరింగ్ మార్చ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ థ్యాంక్ యూ వన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ బాలాజీ గారు కృష్ణమూర్తి మేడం థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ మేడం సో అగస్ బలరామ్ కూడా థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ ఆల్ డిసిస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ అండ్ డిఎస్ఈస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఫర్ యువర్ కంటిన్యూస్ పర్సియేషన్ ఫర్ ది ఇన్వాల్వ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ టీచర్స్ అండ్ అదర్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ టుడేస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వన్ అండ్ హాఫ్